Okay, this is a tutorial basically on your uh, basic elbow strike position. So in your fighting posture, you have a potential of just doing, following through with a downward elbow strike, or you can do a half clinch position with your elbow strike. So those two ways um, for what we're doing now, the basics, that's what we're gonna start with. So I'm in my fighting posture. I have to stutter step in quite a bit because that is a second zone position. Then I follow through where I'm not bringing my, uh, my fist up high to where it basically closes off my peripheral. I'm driving the elbow up and down in this position, okay? That is an ideal over-the-top elbow strike. There's a whole bunch of different style strikes. Uppercut elbow, almost a variation of a shovel hook, to a cross, to downward, to straight downward. Those are all legitimate elbow strikes. So I'll do that again. Uppercut elbow, shovel, across, down, and straight down. Those are all legitimate elbow strikes, and I'll incorporate different ones as we go, especially with everybody being at home, you've got access to change it up now. Okay, um, now, with your half clinch position, when it comes to your elbow strike, I'm shooting that hand in, I'm trying to get them in between the fists, shoot in, then when I cup, I'm cupping not the base of the neck, I'm cupping up high. If I try to cup the base, those are my traps, second largest muscle in the body, there's no way I'm gonna be able to control that person. So once I catch it up high, I create a longer resistive arm and that's where you're gonna be able to have some power to be able to manipulate the person's head. Remember, wherever the head goes, the body follows. So as I come up, I grip, my forearm should ride along the chest, not spaced away, so it gives me even more of a push and pull where the elbow is pushing in and the hand is pushing in. Then when I add in the rotation, so my head, when it comes to the linear, my neck muscles are a lot stronger when it comes to basing, breaking sagittal plane, all right? Now, when it comes to breaking frontal plane, that's a whole different scenario, a lot weaker here. Same thing applies with my knees. I can do three to four times the amount of load when it comes to linear movement, but when it comes to lateral with my knees, it's only about 50%. So once I grab the person's neck, as I rotate and twist, that allows me to really focus on where I can strike. Now granted, if I get a head strike, get a head strike, that's great. But with me having this hand behind, it's almost like two trains colliding. I'm not just holding the head, I'm pulling the head in and I'm driving that elbow down into the skull, right? It could be a occipital, it could be temple, it could be hinge of the jaw, they're all great, but to be honest, the focusing on one single primary spot is not the important thing. The important thing is literally that push and pull and driving. And again, it's even though I'm striking with the elbow, I am striking with the hip and everything as I'm driving downward. And that's what makes a good elbow. So uh, thanks for watching, guys.